Ladies and gentlemen, it is good to be back and to talk about what's ahead for GTA Online. Today is a huge day since we finally have some news from Rockstar themselves. We've had a sea of speculation and I don't know about you, but I'm just ecstatic and ready for the next big thing to hit. And today we got a bit of a teaser which I wanted to share with you and just to give my thoughts on. So let's just take a look at it together, shall we? Oh, so at the end of the teaser you see this dude in a diaper that washed up ashore who can also be found in the game right now. If you go for a leisurely stroll along the beachside on the west coast of the island, Rockstar is updating the game weekly and every week they are putting in new teasers. Last week they added a few props to the casino and you get a text talking about ongoing renovations at the casino. This week there is this washed up chap and the teaser that Rockstar themselves dropped. So Rockstar is slowly teasing how this DLC is shaping up. They did this before with the initial casino DLC which was released as well by updating the casino weekly with props and whatnot. So all in all what I take away from this is that we're gonna have a base of operations for this new set of heists underneath the casino and we are getting the brand new island added which uh, might be named El Rubio. Or El Rubio is the naked dude that washed up or it is it's just a random ass name ladies and gentlemen who knows at this point all I know is that I am excited for this it's been a goddamn draught of content in GTA Online and your boy over here is in dire need of some hydration to sink his teeth into so going off of the pictures I'm getting I'm getting some serious Columbia vibes of this island the construction of the of the buildings and the amount of palm trees it seems like a semi-tropical slash Mediterranean island and I believe that this right over here might be the home base of some cartel or drug lord kingpin or whatever now other than that it's really hard to get a good feeling on how big this map actually is or anything else really i am afraid of one little thing i got this feeling that this map will only be accessible when doing the brand new heights that will take place in this location which would be a huge shame because i'd love to be able to travel to the new location just explore at my own pace I don't think this entire island will be dropped into the existing world of San Andreas either. I think if we, if at all, we get to go to this new island whenever we want, we'd have to travel from, for instance, LSIA or the Sandy Shores airfield. But time will tell. So be sure to subscribe if you want to keep in the loop. Leave a like and all that jazz. And I will see you guys later with a very special video.